I know usually we fuck around stuff, but this isn't a funny story in any fashion. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Because I heard a little something through the grapevine, mm -hmm. but I don't know what happened. So That's why I called you to see if you were okay. I know. And I was like, I'll tell you on the show. Yeah. Because I don't want to keep repeating this story. Mm -hmm. um, so on Thursday night, little date night. Me and wife, a little date night. We are going to meet our friends at Scopa. Yeah. So we're driving to the west side, and we're, we're driving down there. We're off the 101, right by Encino. And my girl goes, oh, holy shit, babe, slow down, slow down. I go, what? She goes, there's an accident. They look at that 18-wheeler. So the 18-wheeler's like, like this, like the front. Jackknife. You know, like that. And then it's like this. So it's yeah. cut off the two nearest lanes. And we're like, what the fuck? So my guy would just go around. So we're going around, and there's a car just mangled. And there's a seven-year-old, a six or seven, because I have kids, right? Mm -hmm. There's like a six or seven-year-old on top <clears> of the car like this, like this, yelling for help. So I'm like, babe, oh, that's a fucking kid. And she's like, just keep going. I'm like, no, it's a, it's a kid. And then he's pointing down. I look in, there's two other kids in the car. So I pull up. There's like debris everywhere. I pull up. I get out. I go, I tell my girl, I go, do not get out of the car. Stay here because, you, you know, hit, you I, my, my, my family hit. CHP. And he says, never pull over an accident. It's too dangerous. Never, ever pull over. Get People get fucked up all the time. But I thought because the 18 wheeler is blocking the lanes, we had some protection. Mm -hmm. So I get out. <clears throat> And I'm, I'm running towards the kids, and it's probably, I don't know, not, not, well, not close, because I had to go past all the debris and stuff, because the car's hitting the debris, and it's like flying everywhere, so yeah. I pulled pretty far up. So I'm running towards the, the mangled car, and I see a guy with no shoes on, he's in a wife beater, like kind of out of shape Mexican, running across the 101. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm looking, and then a Dodge Durango, <sighs> probably going 60 miles an hour, whack, <clears throat> hits him. And I'm like, what in the fuck is going on, man? And he's on the ground like, Rolling like this. I don't think thing of it. I'm like, what in the fuck, man? So I'm just thinking about the kids. So I keep going. And that 18-wheeler where the car hit it, hit the, the gas. It hit the gas tank. <clears throat> so 18-wheelers have all the gas in the world. So there's a, a flow of gas the, as thick as this room flood, flooding out. So my shoes, my jeans are all covered with gas because I'm running. So the gas is sp so it smells so much like gas. I'm like, God, this isn't safe. In my head, I'm like, fuck, I have kids, man. I can't go out like this. But I'm thinking of those kids. That guy who got hit pops up and then crosses the, the other lanes. But as he pops up, I'll never he looks, he like looks at me and has this crazy look in his eyes. And I'm like, what in the fuck is up with that, man? I get to the car. The car's all fucking mangled. And there's one other guy there who's on the scene. Maybe it's the truck driver. I'm not sure, but me and him are the first on the scene. And there's two kids, and there's the ooh, I'm gonna try this without crying. <clears throat> there's a bigger kid and he keeps keeps going. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I go, you're not going to die, buddy. You're not going to die. And I tell the guy, I'm like, back up, back up. So I grab the door and I'm trying to fucking, but it's mangled from the crash. So it's like intertwined with the, with the car. So I'm like, back up. I'm trying to pull down. I can't. So I go, we got to smash this window and get him through the window. So I break the window. We break some of the window out. It's already broke. I'm not like fucking Captain America. So I, I'm pulling all the shattered glass. I take the kid through. So the big, big kid, he's like out of shape, like kid who kept going out. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. This little brother, uh, who's probably two and a half or three, I unbuckle him, I get him out of the car, and I look at the other guy and I go, hey, is there anybody in the car? And he goes, "There's, I think there's one other person in the front. So I'm grabbing the kid and I go, it's all right, bub, it's all right. And then I look, and in the front is a, uh, a lady who passed away. Um, brain matter everywhere, blood everywhere. And the kid's going, mama, mama. And I go, <clears throat> I go, Bubba, look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Don't look over there. Because he was so young, it would have completely fucked him up. So I go, look at me, don't look over there, look at me. I look at there, I go, get a blanket, co cover his mom. And there's a, a lady walks up, I don't know where she came from, and I go, take these two kids and run that way. Run away from the car. And she goes, well, I think it's better to go that way. I go, don't go that way, because the mom's there. They can't see the mom. Go that way. And so I sprint back, I sprint back to my car, my, my girl's like, she's all freaking out, stuff like that. So I get in the car, and we're going. I have blood on my shirt and stuff like that. And so I was a little mad at myself for, you know, putting my girl in that situation. Then I have kids. I'm like, man, what the fuck am I doing? And so I was a little mad. And then, you know, my father-in-law, CHP, I call him and tell him. I'm like, you know, I was the first on the scene, but I didn't stick around because it's so dangerous. And, and you know, I, I, hopefully I don't get in trouble for it. But if you need any witnesses, I saw it all. And he was okay. We'll, we'll keep you posted. They're going to need your uh, report. The little kid that was on the top of the car. What happened? He was fine. He came around. Okay. And I kept telling him, "I go, dude, you're a badass. You're a, you're such a badass, dude. You're so brave, man." 
I said, you're so brave, dude. You're such a little badass, man. I'm so proud of you. I know you don't know me, but I'm so proud of you, dude, because you're the reason I stopped and I got your brothers. I said, I'm so fucking proud of you. So the lady took the kids <clears throat> and then, you know, uh, get a call from uh, the LAPD, CHP after that, give them whatever, everything I saw. I said, what the fuck happened, man? And they said, that guy that you saw that get hit by the car that morning woke up, told his kids, we're all going to heaven today. And he got on uh, Havenhurst uh, to get on the 101 and went into traffic and decided he was going to kill the whole family and run into 18-wheeler. And so the, 18, the driver of the 18-wheeler goes, yeah, I saw the car come in, and I, I veered right. I was like, what the fuck? And I veered right, and he veered right. I veered left, he veered left, and he just ran into me. Well, that fucking idiot, that dad who wanted to kill the whole family, obviously he didn't die. And then um, the kids didn't die. Just, just the, the, the mom died. Just the mom died. So I was like, all right, we got we, we to gotta do, I gotta do something. I, could, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Mm. I can't sleep. All, all, all I remember is that lady, man. Like, yeah, I've seen movies, and, you know, you think movies nah, are pretty, not until you see it. Until you fucking see it, man. I can't get out of my head, so I haven't been able to sleep. That's why, dude, your eyes are red. I can't yeah, you sleep. Look, you look I can't sleep. I said that to you. I keep thinking about the kids, keep thinking about the kids. And then um, uh, a friend of mine sent me their GoFundMe, because I was like, we got to do something to help these kids. Like, so this is the mom. So this is what on the GoFundMe. Uh, so they, uh, and this is just for the funeral cost. They're trying to raise 30000 They have 20400 20, right now. So it says, on Thursday, August 12th, my niece, Amy Garcia, who's 26, was killed in a wrong way dri driving collision with the big rig on the 101 freeway in Encino. She leaves behind four beautiful children, all under the age of eight. She was a loving, caring mother. Unfor unfortunately, she was a victim of domestic violence for many years. And yesterday, the aggressor fulfilled his uh, objective and entered the freeway the wrong direction, intentionally killing my niece. Thank God the children are fine, but very traumatized. We're asking for help. For burial expenses, anything you can do to help us will be greatly appreciated. Rest in peace, my dear Amy. You will be terribly missed. So I reached out to the aunt because I'll, I'll help pay for the funeral. I told her I'll help pay for the funeral, but I'm going to help those kids out, man. How do you help the kids out? So yeah, I sent yeah. her an email, uh, and you know, hopefully she gets back to me on that. I don't know what you do. Like think, think, and. I was talking an education buddy, fund of some kind. I was talking, yeah, something. I was but talking about counseling. Taught, I was, yeah. yeah. I was talking to our buddy Todd about it. He was like, well, one thing to make you feel better, you got to feel like in that household, if the dad was that fucked up, yes. where he wanted to kill that entire family yes. and domestic abuse, those kids are so much better off without that dad. I mean, their mom, who knows what was going on there, but without that dad. So hopefully these kids, because they weren't going to have a shot to get from the jump with that shitty dad. The, the question and, is, and who I'm, raises I'm, them now? You know, and that, That's what I'm trying to say. Obviously, together. he has an aunt. They have an aunt who did this. Hopefully, they have a grandma, grandpa. And maybe help them out, figure out a way to help yeah, them out. Some way. I don't, I don't know stand-up thing, uh, help them out, like, you know, where you can raise a lot of money with just one show, and we can get a lot of people. I show. can raise money for them. Yeah. I can do and that. Then, and, right. and, and then maybe just to help out, because that's four extra kids in a household, right? So you want to keep the kids together mm -hmm. under the same. And the GoFundMe, I don't mind, but it's for the funeral cost, you know, 30 grand, but it's like, you know, that's one she, thing. she's passed away, but it's like those kids yeah. are what we should be raising Still money here, for. Yeah. So that's in some did, way you, did a good you can thing. donate to the GoFundMe there to hit hit their mark, and then hopefully I can figure out a way to get a hold of this. You did kids. a good thing, dude. Yeah, you know, man. Thank God Heaven. you did it because that you're not saying who who was it who said that if not if not you who if not now when. Mm -hmm. and sometimes you know that's a very apt thing to ask yourself. And I don't know what ha what happened to those kids. Maybe that they, that gasoline would have got to them. Or Maybe the dad comes back. Or the dad comes back, or whatever. But and I wish know, I would have known. That, I wish I would have known that dad was such a piece of shit. I wish well, I would have known that was going on. Yeah, he'll be dealt with in his own way. That yeah. that guy's that guy's got his own demons, obviously, and he's real piece of shit.